Hello, my name's Sarah and I'm going to share with you today how I made this card, Believe in the Magic. These are some of the supplies I used and I'd suggest pressing pause to have a look. This is a card I made for a spring challenge and I'm going to use the same format but use the new stamps to create it. So I, I sprayed the um, base card first and I used um, Speckled Egg Spray Stain. I absolutely love this colour, it's nearly finished. I don't think I've ever finished a, a um, spray before. And then I've got Iced Spruce um, of the Oxide. I'll just give that one a quick, quick shake. Oh, I didn't have its lid on, it's gone everywhere. So I've got a spray box here and just give a quick spray with the stain and a bit more of the oxide. And then what I tend to do is get my water spray and give it a bit of a spritz all over, it's nice and wet. And then we're going to place a, t a stencil over the top. You can choose which stencil you, like. you want to use, doesn't matter. Now, I accidentally discovered that if you use a scrap bit of paper, it's got some brusher one like this one has, to mop up the colour in between. Then of course the brush here that's on this scrap paper is going to transfer to your background and I just love serendipitous moments like that, um, which is what happened on my original one. There we go, we get quite a subtle, subtle effect. There's some little bits of yellow there from, um, from the brush here. Let's give it a bit of blast with the heat dryer. And if you want to, you can um, come in with your spray bottle from a bit of a distance and give it a bit of a spray. It adds some more texture to that, to that oxide spray. You can see all those little tiny dots. It depends how much texture you want to go with, really. But it's a nice, quick and easy way of adding colour to the background. Very dry, always a little bit, isn't there? It takes its time at the bottom. Oops, sorry, I'm locking the camera. So, can you see these blues and yellows have come because I used a, um, a coloured scrappy bit of paper, really? Okay. Um, so, next, I need a template which I had out. Here it is. So all I've done is um, cut a hole in a piece of card. I use the middle bit just to place it so that I know where I'm going to go. So I know it's in the middle. Pop that over the top and pull the middle bit out. And then I'm going to use a sponge, which of course I've managed to lose. I feel like we're on reality TV here. I knocked the, uh, the light off. <laughs> anyway, let's start again. So let's pop that circle in so I know where I'm going with that one. Put them stancily bit over the top and then take that mask out. I'm, I'm using faded jeans for this, but you can use what you like. And I'm just going to come in round the edge, a kind of a C shape. I'm not going to. I'm not going all the way round on this um, on this circle. It's just nearly all the way round, like a C. Let us see. And you can lift it up and see if you've got. Quite a bit of, text, bit of um, contrast there, which we have. A bit more around there. And there we go. Right, next, I am going to add some of these beautiful little ivy pieces around this 
shape. And these come from um, the end of the creeping vine. They're just so delicate, so, so pretty. Um, I'm going to stamp with iced spruce. Um, it's quite a subtle greyish green and I'm not going to um, use it a block. I'm just getting a little bit of ink on the ends, not using the whole thing. Because they're they're going to overlap. It's like a it's as if the ivy's growing all the way around that corner, that C shape. I'm just going to go all the way around and add it as if it's growing. Okay. And you'll see I've got I've got the ends of it that way and I'm going to have the end of it this way too as if we've put together some kind of semi wreath as it were So, this time I want to add in some text around the edges again using um, the iced spruce, just inking up just some little elements of it, just to give a little bit of texture to that background. Again, because we're using um, iced spruce ink on an iced spruce um, distress oxide background just gives you that same colour um, layering that it, it's just beautifully subtle. Okay, now I'm going to use the Lilium, one of my favourite of the new set. Um, I love how it, um, oh, it's just so much texture in there, I just love it. So I'm not worried about it coming off the block because I'm, I'm only using this section. Let's ink it up. I do apologise for the shadows. I was a bit limited with when I could get this filmed. Okay, so I'm lining up the base of that flower where I've inked it to with the bottom of my shaded kind of circle. And then all I'm going to do is come back in with my edge of my creeping vine, ink up some of the bottom, and just layer it as if it's growing from around the base of that new flower. And it stamped in those different directions like you would in it like you'd see in a flower arrangement kind of what I'm thinking I might have it go all the way down there maybe a little bit more around that center where it meets you can do as much or as little as you'd like really Let's have a tiny little bit, just going a bit further around there. Yeah, there we go. And then um, on my, the one I've used as inspiration, I've used Spirit of Joy, which I created with, um, with one of the other word stamp sets. But um, I thought we could use just a tiny bit of these new words, um, Magic Surrounds Us, and I'm going to use the base. Now, the very bottom, and a few of the stamps have got this um, 
these words that say believe in magic. Now I'm going to use a Tombow pen to colour in these words. I'm going to have to put my glasses on so I can see them. Can you see those? Just about with that. Now you could very gently dab the end of your um, ink pad onto these words if you're just picking out certain words from a, a phrase or a verse. Um, it's worth trying a variety of felt pens to be honest because you can you can often use cheap ones, give them a, a bit of a blow, you know, like a hot air, like hot to warm them up. Um, and they will stamp. It's worth having a play. So let's pop that there. Because it really opens up the use of your, um, your, your phrases, especially some of those big ones. You know, they've got big single words on like flourish and bloom. And you can just pick out certain words from there and really expand the use of your stamps, get more money for your book. So I just love how delicate that's written and it's such a beautiful font. Okay, then I've, um, well, trouble with having done one earlier, it's finding it, isn't it? When I, I did one of these before, um, just check it with it, I've stamped it on some white paper and cut it out and I just think you, the black and white against that blue really makes that flower stand out a bit more. Now I'm going to put a bit of glitter around the edge. Um, it's, I'm going to use Vintage Shimmer. It is my favourite, favourite colour. It looks quite green in the pot, um, but it just goes so beautifully with these um, these colours, the iced spruce and the speckled, speckled egg. And I'll come back and show you the, the finished piece. And here we are. Hopefully you can see some of the shimmer on that on that glitter.